Jaden, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I will be going over the details of my experience in phase three of my health crash recovery journey. I've done uh, one video in the past that I go over my theory on the five phases of recovering from adrenal fatigue, HPA axis dysfunction, as well as uh, the hormonal imbalance health crash. This is just my theory. I broke my recovery down into five phases to make it easier to explain what I was going through. And I went ahead and started doing detailed videos on each phase. Um, so I've done phase one, two in detail, and today's phase three. So before we get into the video, I just wanna say I'm not a doctor or a therapist, and I'm not here to prescribe, diagnose, or treat you of any type of disease. Please consult with your health professional before taking on any health advice, especially off of the internet. Uh, do your own research. I really encourage you to do a lot of research and continue to read up and consult with health professionals on what you're going through. Okay, that being said, let's go right into the video. So phase three is where I reached some relief. Phase one, as you all know, if you've been watching my videos, it's the most extreme, exhaust, like exhausted, crashed out, um, just the whole miserable, scary, horrible, new phase. Phase two is pretty difficult because you're struggling from, you know, the the progress and and going backwards and forward and going backwards you're learning all about it you get depressed because it finally hits you that you now have to deal with something that you've never dealt with in your life um and you are having to try out many different uh forms of treatment and supplements and all that but once you get past that so it took me a month total to get to phase three so I would say phase one was between like three months to, it's hard to remember exactly, but somewhere around the three month mark. And then phase two, I spent about like four to six months. Again, it was like hard to remember in detail, but four to six months, somewhere like that. And you know, all the phases kind of like overlap too. So, but in total, I think I would say it took me about a little bit over eight months to get from you know the beginning of the health crash to phase three, which I'll go into now. So in phase three, you have been, you know, working really hard. I hope at, at recovering yourself. You have made a lot of mistakes. You've had multiple, or at least I did, multiple crashes, and I had to bring myself back out. I learned a lot about my, about my patterns. I learned a lot about the symptoms. I've had pretty much all the symptoms that I have been sharing up till now. Um, so by phase three, uh, nothing new was really happening. Got myself grounded in the decision that I was gonna do this gradually and I was not, can, like I was not uh, tripped up about it being like an overnight fix anymore. I wasn't depressed. I was very proactive and I was very determined and Consistent phase three was a it, it is a good phase where you're making good progress because you know your patterns You know the symptoms you know how to deal with the symptoms when they come up You know what supplements are working for you You know your rest how much rest you need versus how much activity and you're just kind of like getting in the hang of things so when you reach that point and you're consistent in in mental discipline um, like controlling your stress level excuse me, um, uh, and also watching your triggers, being ahead of yourself before you get into a situation where you might, you know, tr get yourself into another crash. You're just so much, you're, you're much more of like a veteran on all these things. So you're, because of that knowledge and because you're able to apply what you know for the recovery better, you're able to make steady progress. So that's what I call reaching phase three. You're kind of sailing. It's still a challenge by no means is any of this easy. Um, oh, and just a quick side note. Uh, I get a lot of um, 
comments and stuff with people feeling discouraged because you know they keep going forward and backwards and forward and backwards and I just want to remind everybody that this isn't easy I don't want to emphasize it in a negative way but you know this isn't like a walk in the park it's I mean it's really hard in ways um, so you know it it's gonna take time and we're all different so depending on your effort and how severe your health crashes and your own body chemistry it's gonna be different like how fast you heal from this so keep that in mind if you've already gotten checked out by the doctor and ruled out all the other things I wouldn't be that worried I would just know that it's something that takes time so don't count the bad days try to count the good ones in phase three there is a slight danger um, which I also learned that because things are going so well and your energy is gradually replenish, uh, replenishing and you're coming back to more and more of yourself, you will just do a lot more than you should. And I did this twice in phase three where, you know, I'm feeling better again. Like there's pockets of throughout the day now that I feel totally myself. You know, my energy's good. And I have been down for so long that I just like did some pretty intense things and it of course you know I got exhausted and then I crashed afterwards however when you're finally in this phase and you're making steady progress and you've already had enough time that your body's healing your crashes are not like they were in phase one or phase two your setbacks are going to be much more manageable. I mean, unless you really overdid it. But e even if you did, it's you're, you're, you're not going to be as fragile. You're not going to be as depleted because you've now hopefully done the right things and you've recovered quite a bit. So even when you make these mistakes in phase three, you're not going to backtrack and it's not going to take you that long to bounce back. Okay? Versus phase one and phase two, if you backtrack, you're like screwed up for a week. That was very encouraging, even though I didn't like the setbacks. I still was like, wow, I'm like bouncing back, even though like, um. So phase three went on for, I would say, another four months. Okay. I think phase two was the longest so far. Like, phase three was like a good four month, um, where. Yeah, you kind of have your life back, I would say like 60%. Um, and in some pockets of your day, you feel normal. Like you feel like, wow, this is like, it, it, it's so hard to des describe that feeling when you've had a health crash like this for so long that when you're normal, it feels like the universe or God or whatever greater power you believe in, like breathe air and life into you. It's like when you feel that sudden feeling of like, wow, I'm normal again. After being so like unhealthy and feeling like shit, you just like, oh my God, you feel like a trillion dollars, a gazillion dollars. I mean, it was like, you, you, you it, for some of you, you probably experienced like uh, tears, you know, because it's so just like, it's like you've been in the worst prison for like a thousand years and you're released. Keep in mind, during that time, it's very easy to overdo yourself in phase three and you're not quite there yet, guys. So it, when you're in this phase, really, really watch yourself. And again, I don't know the exact timing because I'm only going off of my experience and all the people I've talked to, but it's generally around the one year mark that you get here. Given that your, you know, crash is pretty severe and that you put in just immense dedication, focus, and diligence in healing yourself and doing all the right things. Um, so it takes about a year to get to some, like, a place like this. Once you get here, you want to focus on continuing doing what you know you, you should do with all the resting, with the right amount of exercise and all that. But this is where you get to push yourself a little more like go ahead and get into like a more challenging workout 
this is when you can start, just start, not full on, but just start implementing like a real routine if you want to get back into um, fitness. So this is when you can say, okay, I'm going to, you know, program design myself like a set two days a week, good workouts and try it. If it's too much, back off. If it's not enough or you can do more, add a little more. Um, you have more room for error now because even if you crash, it's not gonna be horrible. I mean, unless you really, really like deliberately go out and like fuck yourself up. But if you're just, you know, common sense, you can, you have room right now because you have more energy restored, you are more replenished, you have room for error. So, and because of that room for error, you're able to make greater progress because now you're not afraid. You, you don't have to be so careful. Great place to be to get here. Um, so again, yes, I stayed in around, I stayed in phase three for about like four months. And then I was on to phase four, which will be the next video. The key things to remember is that you will feel much better in this phase and you'll know it. Like you won't have to ask me, you won't have to ask anybody. You'll know, like your body will be like, wow, I'm feeling better. Um, and the danger of that is that you can do too much still, but the silver lining is even if you did too much when you get here, the recovery and the bounce back is so much faster and you won't feel as shitty when you do crash because you have more reserves. I really hope you guys all get to this phase and beyond because this is the first time you will feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel and you are going to recover from this and you know pretty certain that you will, it's just time. I wanted to announce a, a new thing that's happening with me. I've now been fully recovered, like I don't have any huge symptoms anymore, I pretty much you know, I'm back the way I was. I want to go above and beyond because I still feel like I could improve myself even more um, in comparison to, to myself before the health crash. Uh, because before the health crash, I had already seen that I wasn't as optimal as I was like 10 years ago. And of course it's due to stress and all that. I have been doing a lot of research and I am working with a new doctor that specialized in hormone optimization. He does super extensive blood work to, to look at all your hormone levels and, um, and from that he helps you bring you back to that optimal level and actually beyond for your age. So I am working with him. I will definitely keep you guys posted on this progress. I'm very excited and inspired about it. And along with it, I will start my legit getting myself back to the shape that I was in. And this time I like to get myself back into shape I was in when I was in my early 20s. So I'm very, very excited having been able to bring myself out of the health crash um, and recovered myself and now being in a place where I'm able to take on something extra and improve myself again is so exciting and rewarding and I hope you guys all get here and it's totally possible. Um, keep the comments and questions coming. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so and like and share my videos with those who you think might need this information and yeah I'm excited to keep you guys posted and I will have a new topic to talk about now because this will be going above and beyond full recovery this will be actually like getting myself even higher health and fitness level as I was before the health crash I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful for your own research and uh, have a great rest of the week. I will see you guys next time. Bye.